Chapel really began about a century ago. Local history services at the Minnesota Historical Society, hitting the road since 1916 to work with history organizations in all 87 counties. We're here to help. With preservation, grants, conservation, technology, training, and planning. There are some 500 historical organizations in the state. And local history services has worked with most of them. Well, they worked with me. We'll just turn that around, okay? <laughs> in Morrison County, local history services was part of the team that turned a dream into reality. We have one of the more beautiful buildings in the whole community. A place where people of all ages learn the unique stories of Morrison County. We deal with people from actually all over the world. In Winona County. I don't think I'd want to live here if that courthouse wasn't there anymore. Local history staff helped save an iconic building. To the advice that we've received along the way and the help and the grants that we've received from the State Historical Society have really pushed us and challenged us to, uh, to be better. Local History Services, helping communities interpret and preserve their own history. That's where that impact is being felt. People in Moorhead or Ely or Roseau don't have to come to St. Paul to learn about history. They can uh, learn about their community's history in their own communities. The people uh, of Winona County benefit because we have a, a really outstanding library, archives, exhibits. I found it really rewarding personally to be doing this work. It was because of the people that we met around the state. Lots and lots of good people who really cared about preserving local history. We all have a great pride in what we contribute to the state. We are part of doing the job of saving Minnesota history, a big part. For 100 years, working together to keep Minnesota history and heritage alive for generations to come.